So we've got all these tripods to choose from, but what's the difference between each of them and which one's right for you? Now to make this whole comparison a little bit easier, at first we're just gonna mostly be talking about these three in front of me, which is the Summit Carbon 2, the High Country 2, and the Ridgeview Carbon. The Radian Carbon tripod over here is our heavy duty tripod that's a little bit more specialized for shooting in particular, and we'll get into that one in a little bit. All the tripods in our lineup, including the Radian tripod, are Arca Swiss compatible with an included quick release head with a quarter 20 threaded bolt inside for attaching onto spotting scope bodies, binocular accessories, or really any other accessory that uses that same thread pitch. Now, of course, because that footprint is Arca Swiss compatible, that means that you can use it with a myriad of accessories out there on the market. And it also means that any of these quick release plates between all of the tripods in our entire line are interchangeable. All the tripods in our lineup, including the Radian tripod, have three angle pivot locks to position each leg independently from one another, which means you can set it at a position that allows you to get the tripod up at the highest height possible, or if you wanna get the tripod nice and low to the ground, either for a lower center of gravity or a more streamlined position along the ground, then you can unlock it and move it up. All the heads on these tripods are completely removable as well. And so by simply removing the bottom portion of the center column, you can then loosen its fitting and pull it right out. Now at the bottom of the center columns on each one of our tripods, including the Radian, is a counterweight hook, which allows you to hang some sort of a weight from the tripod to lower its center of gravity and increase stability, especially in really windy conditions. Because the heads in these particular three models are all the same head, they all carry the same maximum load capacity, which is 22 pounds. They're all smooth and precise two-way adjustable pan heads with the pan handle here at the rear that allows you to lock and unlock the head as well as adjust tension for when you're moving it around and changing your angle. Now let's get into the High Country 2 in particular. While the High Country 2 doesn't have the carbon fiber construction of some of its siblings, it does use aluminum, which is still a relatively lightweight material and plenty durable for any trip you're gonna take it on out in the field. It's a really simple tripod to use with its two-way adjustable pan head and also lever lock system on the legs for adjusting the tripod's height. As far as the stats go on this particular tripod, as we mentioned, the maximum load capacity is 22 pounds. The weight of this kit in total is four pounds with a minimum height of 11.3 inches and a maximum achievable height of 62.5 inches. Now I stand at about 5'10", 5'11", in terms of height. And here I have the legs on the High Country 2 completely extended all the way. And now if I go in and I loosen up the center column here, I can raise it up as high as it will go. And I could probably use that with most optics as standing height. The center of gravity might be a little high with this center column fully extended. That's where I may use this hook for a counterweight of some sort, but it still does get plenty high enough for me. And now we've got the Summit Carbon 2, which is our lightest and smallest tripod, perfect for backcountry and ultimate packability. In order to get so small and packable, the Summit Carbon 2 uses four leg sections instead of three like on the other tripods, which allows it to achieve a minimum height of just 6.3 inches and a maximum height, which isn't quite as high as the others, but still pretty good at 53.3 inches. Instead of lever locks like we saw on the High Country 2, the Summit Carbon 2 uses quarter turn twist locks, which are now snag free and again, aid even more in its packability. Total weight on this package is just 2.5 pounds. So you can see it's a very lightweight tripod with a maximum load capacity with this head of 22 pounds. Here you can see with the Summit Carbon 2, once I've splayed the legs out and removed that lower section of the center column, which you can do on all these tripods, just how low this thing can get. Again, as a point of reference for the maximum height, here we have the Summit Carbon 2 with the legs fully extended, but the center column all the way down. Once we loosen this and we extend that center column all the way, again, for somebody 5'10", 5'11", like myself, that's not high enough to be comfortably glassing behind while standing, but that's some of the trade-offs you get with such a small, lightweight, and packable tripod. You may mostly just have to use this from a sitting, crouching, kneeling position. And now for the Ridgeview Carbon, which has a lot of the same features as the Summit Carbon 2 that we just looked at, but it is much taller. In fact, this is actually the tallest tripod in our entire lineup. 
Rather than having the four leg sections of the Summit Carbon II, which was using that to achieve maximum packability, this tripod wants to be as tall as possible, and it will take up a bit more space in your pack with just three leg sections, but again, leg sections that go out to a very tall height. As mentioned before, with this head, you're gonna get a maximum load capacity of 22 pounds. The total weight of this kit is 3.2 pounds, with a minimum height of 8.3 inches and a maximum height achievable of 73.8 inches. So here you can see the Ridgeview Carbon with its legs fully extended, and I actually haven't even extended the center column yet. For me, again at 5'10", 5'11", it's already, I might even need to bring it down a little bit. For all you seven footers out there, here's looking at you, Shaq. Once you extend the center column, you can see it can achieve some pretty tall heights. And now for the heavy duty Radian tripods with two different head options for you. These ones are designed with the shooter looking for a dedicated platform for the rifle or big glass in mind. Both these kits are the same from the head down, featuring the same carbon legs with four leg sections and twist leg locks. In the box, there will be two different feet options for these tripods. The rubber feet, which you see here, which can be removed and replaced with the included spiked feet to really dig into the ground when you're out in the field. Now we've mentioned the fact that there's two different head options for these tripods. We have a video specific to the differences between those two heads, but don't worry, if you go all in and you pick one and still wish that you had the other for any application that might need it, you can go back and get the other head separately and these can actually be detached independently from the tripod and swapped for one another. Both tripods feature bubble levels, both in the tripod itself and in the heads, so you can make sure you're totally squared up on your target before pulling the trigger. And as we've already alluded to, both these heads are plenty strong enough for holding up rifles, even big competition rifles. When it comes to the ball head kit in particular, the biggest advantage that you're gonna get is all the versatility that a ball head provides. It can go all the way up to 45 degrees in any direction, and if you use these notches cut out of the head's body, then you can go all the way up to 90 degrees of angle. When it comes to moving the ball head, you can adjust its tension independently of locking and unlocking it with this large knob on the side. That lock, once you get it into the place that you want to keep it, is right here with this smaller knob, and again, independent of the tension adjustment. If you want to simply move the tripod's head, side to side with a panning motion without moving any of the rest of the ball head, that's another adjustment that you can make by simply loosening this knob and then you get a nice smooth side to side movement. That panning feature on the head allows you to move very precisely in 2.5 degree increments by simply referencing the markings on the body of the head itself. The maximum load on this tripod with the ball head is 55 pounds. As far as total weight on the entire kit goes, it's 7.3 pounds. Minimum height for this tripod is 8.3 inches and the maximum height it can achieve is 67.3 inches. Now the Radiant Carbon tripods don't use a center column like the other tripods, so their legs maximum height that they get to is the maximum height the tripod will stay at. And again, myself, 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 this is where it sits. Now when it comes to the level head on the Radian Carbon tripods, what you're really getting is simplicity and stability. To control the head with this particular kit, there's one singular rubberized handle at the bottom that allows you to both lock and unlock it and even adjust tension all in one. While this head only offers plus or minus 15 degrees of leveling in comparison to the ball head kit, it may not be able to get you into as complex of angles or shooting situations, but it is extremely stable and very fluid in its movement. Now while both the ball and level head kits are very sturdy units, just because of the nature of how tight and low profile this particular head sits, it's not only less likely to get snagged on other pieces of gear, but it's also less likely to show perceived bounce in the rifle scope, either from recoil or as the shooter imparts their own influence on the firearm. The Radian Carbon with the level head kit has a max load capacity of 44 pounds. Its total weight as a kit is 6.1 pounds. Minimum height is 7.8 inches and the maximum height it can achieve is 64.3 inches. By now you're probably all well aware of how tall I am, but if you've been skipping around a little bit, approximately 5'10", 5'11", or so, and here I have the Radian Carbon next to me with the level head on top and you can see where it sits. 
So hopefully this helped give you some better information to make your decision on which tripod is best for you and your particular application. If you have any other questions, please let us know in the comments below. Hit us up on social media via phone or email. We always love hearing from you guys. In the meantime though, we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.